How do you maintain a healthy lifestyle? Do you eat right food? Do you treat by folk remedies or advertised medicines? Do you believe in the effectiveness of your methods? In the information era, before consulting with a specialist, for the first, we aim to learn as much as possible about our illness from the Internet. However, global network doesn't always give an effective advice, but sometimes it can be even dangerous. This is not a secret that unfortunately nowadays uh, too many people are going to internet for for an advice, mm -hmm. uh, and they give it. Uh, they, they get advice there, n not from professionals. They get advice there from their peers, from their neighbors, for somebody who is just active on internet, from from somebody who might be uh, producing some fraudulent information. So internet is a huge, huge, um, huge source of all sorts of information uh, and the problem of uh, the 21st century and of today is to get the right information on the right time. The solution for those who want to know everything about their body and understand how to use it has long been invented. Scientists from all world have united in the community Cochrane so we can rely only on reliable information and proven facts dealing with the health issues. Testing the effectiveness of various medical techniques and medicines, Cochrane community brings together all the valuable scientific studies to summarize the facts. What Cochrane does is actually trying to gather all the evidence around uh, the effectiveness but also the safety uh, of drugs, pull it all together in a systematic review, and then, uh, which needs to be independent. That's why it's so important not to be influenced by, for example, the co commercial sectors or other stakeholders that, uh, that are important in the, in the healthcare uh, sector. Um, and the contribution that Cochrane can, uh, can make is uh, to gather that evidence, to synthesize it, um, and to provide it in a format that a decision maker can, can use. Commercial independence is one of the main indicators of objectivity of Cochrane collaboration. The organization doesn't cooperate with the pharmaceutical companies. This allows fighting with unscrupulous drug manufacturers. In 2014, the Cochrane researchers proved the ineffectiveness of the drug Tamiflu, which was purchased in large quantities in USA and Britain during a flu epidemic. This is one of the examples of the work of Cochrane community. Similar studies are published on the website Cochrane.org and accessible to all. So the collaboration with the Cochrane is very, very important because when we have to make a decisions about uh, the medicines, uh, we need to look at the evidence. And the Cochrane collaboration is uh, one of the main entity and uh, that provides us the evidence to make uh, then the selections of the medicines that are really important. Today the Cochrane community includes 37,000 authors from 130 countries. This international organization has representations in 43 countries, including Russia. This year, on the basis of Kazan Federal University, first Cochrane Community Center in Russia was opened. It's not a simple decision, because within this collaboration we have to do a lot of work. But I also hope that this labor will bear fruit for our university and for all people who care about themselves' health and about health of their families. Kazan Federal University was chosen as a base of Cochrane in Russia not by accident, because in our university fundamental medicine and pharmacology have priority. And I want to notice that Kazan Federal University is the only place in Russia where Cochrane landed. For less than a year, Kazan scientists have not only translated into Russian a great number of Cochrane reviews, but have already published their own. To read them both in English and in Russia, please visit http russiacochraneorg the ordinary people will find useful articles about maintaining a healthy lifestyle and the effectiveness of various treatment in accessible language. Doctors and scientists also can read detailed reviews of the various methods of treatment and fair views of the effectiveness of medicines. 
We, we have noticed uh, changes in respect of the ability of, uh, of Cochrane evidence to be used here in Russia. Um, I mentioned in my speech that uh, already over 500 um, Cochrane reviews um, have been translated uh, into Russian. Kazan is, is really, um, I think, privileged but also at the centre of, uh, of the evidence-based uh, med medicine work in Russia. Um, and uh, it's wonderful to be here and not perhaps somewhere else that, that uh, um, uh, you might think of like Moscow or, uh, or St. Petersburg. It's a real privilege and a joy to be uh, establishing the coordinating hub for Ru Russia here in Kazan. In winter 2015, Kazan Federal University hosted the first Cochrane Conference, which was attended by researchers from the US, Great Britain, Switzerland and other countries. Here the first result of collaboration was summed up. Russia for a long time has had a reputation of a great deal of science. It is, your history is very rich in science and technology. And so there's every reason to think that that will continue. I, th I know it does. And, and turn that away from uh, things of the past to matters of health. A distinctive feature of the Cochrane Center in Russia it is fact that there will be trained medical professionals capable for understanding randomized Cochrane reviews and work with them in practice. This will bring up a new generation of doctors who are actively using the fruits of evidence-based medicine. But for Cochrane community it is equally important that the result of scientific research can be understood by non-specialists too. In order to translate scientific texts in public language, not only doctors but also linguists, journalists and philologists are involved in cooperation. If you are ready to make a contribution to the development of evidence-based medicine in Russia, contact management of Cochrane Center in Russia in Kazan.